Hi YouTube. We decided to break down and get a incubator and upon getting it home I uh, ran into a wall with it and busted it so I had to hot glue it back together but it is working. It is maintaining 52% um, humidity and 99.6 Fahrenheit. I'm going to turn this light off so you can see some of the hybrid ducks that I am. Hybrid ducks that are in here. If you can see, can you them or not? They're inside here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Mm -hmm. You can't see it. Let me see a different one. These ducks, I'm turning them twice a day. There it goes. It's moving. Put the camera right up to it. See it works better. This duck is going to hatch soon. It's been poorly maintained because I had a homemade incubator. But you can see the veins and there's something moving. See it moving? That's just so amazing. And I'm going to keep y'all updated. Well, actually, I'm going to make this in a several part video so you can see the whole process. Um, but this is absolutely amazing. And uh, that little, little heart was beating. Or head was moving or something. I'm going to get y'all the best view possible. Uh, anyway, this is a cross between a pecking, a pecking and a, uh, and a rowan. Peace and love. Stay tuned. Decided to break down and get another incubator today, and we have 19 chicken eggs and one duck egg off of our farm. We're going to attempt to um, incubate. Uh, putting them in today on the third. I uh, wrote on here in on 3-3-2016 it'll be out they'll, well, I'll stop turning them on 3-18 of 2016 and they will uh, they will hatch about three days after I stop turning them because 21 days on chickens and then the duck I don't really know these I'm not too sure about they're uh, I mean I can see babies moving in there but I don't know the exact dates because I had that uh, makeshift incubator that I had on there and uh, that's cool in the incubation and uh, all these little guys is what we're going to be seeing for a while just grabbed a few more of these today these are specialty breed chickens all except that one I don't know what that is but these are all special chickens with fur legs and all that stuff oh, wish me luck Hi YouTube, this is a happy day, and Mikey's excited, look in here, this is our baby hybrid duck eggs, and it is hatching, it's yeah it's cracked, it's coming out, this is a duck, uh -huh. this is a baby duck, I'm not going to leave this open long because I got to stay warm, but it's, it's cracked as you can see, um, I don't know the exact time and date that I put these and so I don't know what to expect, but I just removed this cap and the temperature is 96.8 degrees and 53% humidity see that. right Let me now. See it. Let me see that, Tim. And it's hatching anyway. How many the old cracking just one? Yeah, I need to stop rolling them, I guess. I've been rolling them every day. I don't know. What do you think, Bob? I don't know. You need to check on, on your computer and see that. Well, I've been rolling them. They say roll them every two hours. They say they say roll them every two hours. There's more out of the egg now. Look at that cute little thing. We should have other ones hatching soon. I don't have no light in here. Can't really see. I'm done one of those caps. That cute little thing, I'll move some of these eggs just a little bit away from him. Just a little bit away. Oh, look at that precious little thing. Wow, that is the prettiest duck I've ever seen. I see a yolk sack inside, still hooked to him or her. See that? And that duck is absolutely gorgeous. And That's a cross rainbow. between a pecking and a rowan. Yeah, rainbow one. A rowan is a duck that looks kind of like a mallard. Absolutely gorgeous. I love that. And that's coming from somebody that's so badass and MVP I didn't even find it in Koo. I love that one. <laughs> I like that one. I like 
And I'm just pulling him out of the incubator, letting him dry off, completely dry off. I put him in there with the baby uh, bantams. Right now he's getting around, it's pretty cool. This is my hybrid, the first one I've ever seen in my whole life, and I've seen a lot of ducks, of a rowan and a pecking cross. None of the other eggs are hatched, or we've got a hole in it yet, I'm still waiting. But soon, ain't that little guy just precious? Absolutely awesome, and the, the feet are even multicolored. That is awesome. I'll keep it, I'll update y'all later on about the, uh, how he turns out. My drawing is an adult. Stay tuned. Second egg. Baby duck. He's trying to break out. Up to humidity. Right, uh, let me show now. 99.1 degrees, 64% humidity. Shouldn't be too long now, all of them be etching. This is the second day. This little guy's growing. Let's give him some bread. For some reason, he's got this odd little poof on his head. That's the one that's the hot one between the pecking and the um, rowing. And these are the ones we got from Tractor Supply that I can get. So cool update on these chickies. He's doing a little bit of red too. He's kind of very active. Looking over that bread. One of our football players. Thing. Still working. You can see it still. It's still moving. 98.9 degrees and 60% humidity. These ones they still got a while. He's got number two duck out. He had to be helped out of his shell. I don't usually recommend helping him out of their shell, but he needed to be in this case. He's been in, the he's been in there for over 48 hours, stuck. We got him out, but he's quacking and everything is gonna be fine. We'll let him uh, enjoy life. How beautiful that is. We'll update you later. Okay, on the duck eggs. These, this is the original incubator that I had them in. All odds against them. This is broke. They're getting air in through there. This was my original homemade incubator with this hole, and it got broke, busted right there. And I have a 25 light, white, uh, light bulb. It reached an internal temperature of 109 degrees, which should have killed every egg. But yet, uh, and it was only 30% humidity, which optimum is 97 to 101. Perfect is 99.5 degrees and 50 to 65% humidity. <laughs> You're going to put it in light, it's black. But we hatched this duck, and for some reason... Now it's dried now, and it's got a crest. Look at the crest on its head, a little cotton ball. This is half pecking, half rowing. This one is the second one. He's just now introduced in here. He's also half pecking, half rowing. Without a crest, but it's got more black on him, and it looks like more rowing and less pecking, and this one's more pecking and less rowing. With uh, multicolored feet on this one, and this one's feet here is all yellow. I don't know if you can see that or not. No, that white. All right, here's the light. Yeah, see his feet? The feet on them too? Then the other two are just the khaki Campbell and the, uh, that's a pecking right here. This is a full-blooded pecking. And that's a pecking rowan and a pecking rowan. But for some reason, this is a crested head. I don't know if I've unlocked a recessed gene and made a crested pecking rowan. If I did, I do believe that I'm the first on the entire planet to do so. So, if I'm wrong, y'all can leave it in the comments. But if you want to prove me wrong, make sure you include a link showing me where there's a peck and rowing um, hybrid. 
that's got a crest on its head. And uh, that'll be nice. And these eggs are hatching. We've got four more. I think I'm going to lose two of these. I'm going to lose these two here probably. But these five are moving. And then I got two of them back there that are going to be ready on the 18th, I believe. Right, stay tuned. Uh-oh. Mikey just seen more. More hatching. Look at that. Oh, the baby. Wah, 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 wah. Oh, that baby tank duck. Them are two more pecking, rowing hybrid, hybrid things. Yeah, baby. Whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, Mikey oh, found them. I, 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 I was trying to do for Tom Tom. Mikey I found them. I almost thought that was Tom. And he had to eat all it. Quick up, little baby dog. He had to buy it. Got him in some new bedding. He put back. Baby Ooh. peeps. And I got some sad news for this one is these ones can't be handled. That one's the legs are not right. He's got this this problem where he can't go. He's special needs. He's a special needs duck. Might have to put a skateboard and strap him to it or something so he can flap and go because I mean uh, I could expect some kind of deformity when I'm making a new breed of animal but I didn't know what the what to expect when I uh, hatched these, but I'm trying. He's just a special needs duck, so it's a loving. Shabalakon.